In August 2011, people across the nation marched to the doorsteps of Wall Street to unite as the 99% against the 1%. The economic gap was there, and something had to change. Unfortunately, the movement fell apart as lawmakers were left unanswered when they asked what exactly needed to be changed. A similar situation has emerged from Blue Valley North, where students are uniting against gun violence in an attempt to promote change. According to event organizers, as of last Tuesday, 187 students were registered for the BVN walkout. Some will be walking out to demand the repeal of the Second Amendment, while others just want to skip class. Whether you are walking out to find a solution or are choosing to stay indoors, remember that school exists to promote the public conversation. It is not a platform for narrowing it by shouting at one another. If this really is the defining moment for students to make a change by speaking their voice, keep in mind that a conversation also requires listening to the other side. A North podcast. Let me explain. I took kids from North to discuss controversial topics in a way respectful to all. A way in which having different beliefs doesn't make you enemies. It just means you can see the other side. Ryan Little. <laughs> Come check it out soon at BVN Broadcast YouTube channel. Yeah, well, I've heard of it. Yeah, the kids, all day, the kids. I have heard of Fortnite. I have heard of Fortnite, but just from, well, from Luca. <laughs> no. Of course not. I have not, although I've, I've contemplated doing it just to see what it's all about and what the, what the rage is. No, um, no, I may have seen videos online, you know, stuff, but I haven't paid attention to them. Bad. Well, you I don't. I'm very competitive, so I hope well. I'm gonna hope for the best. I'm honestly a little uncertain. I think if I played it for a little while, I probably would uh, attain highest level status, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Badly. Why am I on a balloon? It's the battle bus. It's, <laughs> it's gonna drop you in the arena. Get on the bus. You're on it. Oh, I'm already on the bus. I'm going for the, uh, I'm going for the Blitzkrieg right here, the, the lightning attack. Oh, I can choose when to jump. Right, yeah. You jump with the space. So what's the trick in that? Well, here you go. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm free falling. If I smash in the ground, do I die? No, I don't know. Because, boy, this is a long, this is a long, it's a long fall here. Oh, just land. Okay, you're getting there. You're getting there. Okay. Okay. That angle. Move your mouse so you can have a, oh, a better view. Okay, You're... got it, got it. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, shoot. All right, this is where the action's at. There are guns popping. This is Tilted Towers. Holy crap, we're out of here. Okay, go. 
Go. Come on. Come on now. Oh, why am I going backwards? Oh. You got no. You got to you. There you go. Go uh -huh. forward with the up. Okay. I don't feel good about this. Map, you can't see where the people are. Nothing. Oh, I'm getting things. Oh, okay. <laughs> Find a weapon. I gotta be able to shoot a gun. Oh! It's, oh, you. Oh. Yes, yes, Ren, wait, Ren. Okay. wait, go, go back go in. Back, go back, go back. Weapon, oh, yes! What's stuff. the disco ball do? <laughs> Maybe that's the dancing. Oh! <laughs> as soon as I got the disco <laughs> ball, I died. <laughs> oh no, I'm in a town. Oh my gosh, I think I someone shot at me. Oh. It's going, it's like I'm, it's like I'm injured. Is it possible? Oh, I just got... Oh my gosh, that was terrible. I'm, I'm dead already. What'd you get? 64th. Yeah, I'm going inside the barn. Right now. Right now, we're getting in the barn. <laughs> you aren't, like, walking forward. You do this weird sidestep. Well, I'm trying to go sideways. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, no. yeah, I thought it was fun. No, I didn't think it was that fun, if I'm sometimes honest. Sometimes when you have success in life, it's fun. <laughs> okay, folks. Congress is telling us that the voters are asking for a new idea, a new project that will help justify our organization, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. We need fresh, new, vital ideas that will justify our administration, okay? Our jobs are at stake here, people. What ideas do you have? Um, I have an idea of a self-sustaining rocket that can infinitely propel a ship through space. Mm. That's something, that's something. But we need something bigger. Bigger, you said it. <laughs> yeah, something that will knock the socks off of Congress. Knock the socks off of Congress, you said. <laughs> yeah, something that will prove our worth and ensure that we all keep our jobs here. Prove our worth and ensure we all keep our jobs here, you said. <laughs> Yes. What's your idea, Dan? Please have a seat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is life out there. It would not only be ignorant, but irresponsible to say that in the vast space around us that extraterrestrial beings do not exist. And one day, these beings will visit Earth. And when that day comes, we will have no way of knowing whether they will be friendly or wish to wreak havoc and destruction upon our tiny little planet. So we must be prepared. So what's your idea, Dan? Thank you for asking. <laughs> I propose we build a weapon that can be deployed from outer space that orbits the Earth. So like a satellite? No, not like a satellite, Becky. <laughs> Try the freaking moon. So, how big are you intending for this to be? Do you not just hear the words moon-sized come out of my mouth? No, I didn't hear moon-sized because you didn't say that. Well, I just did. <laughs> so, are you proposing we build an artificial weaponized moon? Yes. Like the Death Star? No, no. The Death Star and my idea are two completely different things. <laughs> So, how do you propose we weaponize this satellite moon thing? One centralized laser. Like the death. Damn it, Becky! I would not come in to this very important NASA meeting and pitch the Death Star from a 70s science fiction movie. <sighs> okay. Can we see some plans? I thought you'd never ask. 
The name that I have come up with is the defense against extraterrestrials and the threats to the human species to avoid ruination. Which stands for? What? Death Star. Damn it, Becky! I swear to God! Okay. What else do you have here, Dan? I've also brought the plans. <laughs> For my weapon. <laughs> what? What? That's obviously a picture of the Death Star. No, it is. I drew this myself. It took hours, sir. There's literally a Star Wars watermark at the bottom. Becky, I've had it up to here with you. I will literally murder your entire family. <laughs> You live at 15725 Newman, right? You guys get home from Tommy's trumpet recital at nine, correct? What are you wearing under that jacket? What? Nothing. No nothing. No you're clearly wearing something. Hey, I don't have to be subjected to this, this buffoonery. Dan, unzip your jacket. Unzip your jacket. <laughs> With a picture of the Death Star. Damn. It is the Death Star, isn't it? Yes. You realize how bad this is? Yes. You tried to come here and pitch this idea to engineers from NASA. Yes. <laughs> and now you know what I have to do. Yes. <laughs> so I've got an idea. What if? We build a laser into a heavily wooded planet. Like Starkiller Base? Get out. 